Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Morning Hustles. Dude now officially has the number one album in the country. Oh, uh, man. He's the number one stunner. We call him Gunner. What up, homie? Hey. 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 What's up with it? I'm sending. How difficult was it for you to, like, release this project during quarantine? Because I know that wasn't a part of your plan when you were working on this album. It was, it was like, it was like a, like a, like a little, like a little fork in the road, a little spike in the road. And we just had to just get around it and work through it. Cause it was, un, it was like out the blue. Nobody knew it was coming. So I wasn't prepared for it, but it still, I still made it happen. Now, how much of this was recorded within the quarantine space? Cause we've been like pretty much collectively locked down end of February, early March. Like, you know, how new are these songs? Um, some songs are like eight months old. Some songs are like two months old. So it was just like <clears throat> I may I had maybe thought the album was done, but I started still touching up stuff and still adding things to it, and everything else was just coming together. So like, it's really like old and new. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. majority old because I really recorded the album in Jamaica. Oh, vibes. Definitely wow. I, seen that. I think you had the video in Jamaica. You like it looked like you was in a bunch of places when you recorded some of these videos that you had. Even Skybox, it looked like you was where was you when you did that? Um when I recorded it, it was in Jamaica, but like when we did the video, the video. It, was, it was somewhat we were, we did pieces just out of state and like I don't even know where, where we was at really. <laughs> it just looked like you traveled a lot to do um some of these videos that you had. Right. I did. A lot of these, a lot of these like videos that I was putting out is like showing like different like countries and different like sides where we don't really travel to. Hey, you uh, can legit like get a show on the Travel Channel, like with the way you I move it around. <laughs> 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 crack it out there. It's Gunner San Diego. That boy moving around <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> hey, so let me let me jump in. I got one about uh, the song "Gimme." Can you give me a little bit of insight on? specifically if there was anybody that you were trying to address and what your sentiment was behind that track? Because I felt I felt a lot of pressure coming out that one. So I, I wanted to kind of get into that one and ask about that track specifically and where your headspace was with all that that you put in that track. It wasn't really like toward a certain, a certain artist. It was, it was like, it was kind of like a separation because I know it's some, uh, it's, it's rappers as our gimmicks, which I mean, just like, we don't like you because you, you know what I'm saying? You might be funny or you might be goddamn, you got them tough or you're a gangster or it might be anything or ain't no telling what you selling, you know what I'm saying? But it might be a gimmick or it might be real, but different, this is, is real or that me is a gimmick, you know what I'm saying? So I was just really just separating it and letting it know like some shit be gimmicks and some shit no, don't be gimmicks. If you had to connect yourself to like a thing, I mean, like, you know, I don't really consider you a gimmicky rapper. Like you sell an overall wave, a vibe, drip. I know you for the fashion. I know you, I know you for the style. What would you say your overall thing is? Um, my overall thing would just probably be like, I guess like, uh, flamboyant, like I'm cool and, and at home, you know what I'm saying? But I give you vibes, like like I out, like come out, like I like to have a good time too. So it's like both, like that's what I feel like. So your your name is being mentioned for having the number one album, obviously, but also you got a little controversy going on with the whole Instagram live that you don't look at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you looked at me like what controversy <laughs> with the Instagram live that you posted. It was a little controversy because you did the whip it on Instagram live. Now, did you were you just so comfortable on there that you wasn't really thinking about what was going on, or is that just something that you feel like you shouldn't have to hide? I don't know what you're talking about. Selective memory. <laughs> yeah, it was the shortest Instagram live in recent memory. Like, you know, we had a part on well, our show. Well, show me the video, I'll be on live all the time, so I'm, we got, I'll be on live all the time. You gotta right. show me the clip. <laughs> It was so short, maybe you thought you were taking a picture. 
<laughs> my man was in and out, up and down. But it was just like a really short thing that I seen and you kind of just took a little whiff from the, the can and it kind of hit the blogs and they were saying like, you know, why would he do this on Instagram Live? <laughs> Pleading the fifth of the sun. Sips water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we definitely know you definitely get it in with the bars, the rhymes, the beats. But I also rock with you on a fashion sense. How are you keeping your quarantine drip together when people are not necessarily plowing down the mall in the way that they used to? Oh, um, they open up the stores for me. So it's good for <laughs> nobody in there. You still socially distant wh while you're getting your shop on. Like, wh what's your go to spot? Um, Right now, like, I'm in LA now, so it's kind of different. But like, when I was in Atlanta, I had like this little store, like like inside stores that are just open up stores like sex. Um, I had a, I, I got a little store that I be going in on uh, Linux, um, Neiman's, but they stopped, they stopped letting me go in Neiman's because they got something going on with Neiman's right now. But those are like two of my, like two spots I was going to in Atlanta. And LA, when I just got here, it was a, it was a store in Marrow's called Cool Kids had opened up for me. Um, so a dude who, who, um, he kind of like making design different clothes and have a little clothing brand too. He brought me some clothes, but I think today they open up stores. So you, you went on a shopping spree. It was, I believe it was you and little baby and y'all like, but yeah, bought a lot of jewelry, all kind of stuff. What's the most you feel like you ever spent in one day for shop, just for shopping? Um, probably about, about, about 50,000. I ain't really went too crazy. I ain't really went too crazy like oh, just in one day. Cause you I, ain't I, go too crazy. <laughs> just well, fifty thousand. That's not too crazy. <laughs> That's kind of oh, crazy, Ghana. Oh, I've been on like it's a lot of people that shop go crazy. I've been thinking. Okay, be what's going... go crazy to you, Gunner? Like, tell me what go crazy is when you think it's like, all right, this is the go like, crazy. Like this price. is too much. Like I can't do this. Well, you can, but you don't want to. Ass 50, like when you're going up to the six seventies, <laughs> like you're going to a hundred thousand, like you're doing too much. Well, okay. they said that you buy Birkin. So like grocery store equivalent, like I'm if I spend a hundred, if I spend a hundred. I'm buying, you know what I'm saying? The ones that would be like a dub, you know what I'm saying? Dub five, I ain't gonna go too go crazy. <laughs> yeah, you cause that's a whole <laughs> line. That's a that's one of my favorite lines. Call gun if you want you a Birkin. <laughs> like, how heavy are those bags when you spend fifty thousand dollars? Like, how much are you walking out with? See, I I don't spend fifty thousand in one store. Got I'm you. Gonna, okay. Five thousand this store. Five thousand this store. Five thousand this store. Seven thousand this store. Ten thousand this store. It's like I like to go different stores and shop, so I don't just spend fifty thousand in one store. Mm. So I'm saying, but I really like to go to every store. Like, I really like to shop at every store. Yeah, to that, people who are not acclimated to that life, right? You know, because it's one thing if you like go buy like a twenty dollar polo at TJ Maxx, right? It's another thing if you're spending the type of scratch you're spending on. Like, do you give your clothes to thrift shops or do you keep everything forever? Because these are high dollar items. Like, when you're done with the outfit, where does it go? Um, the the bros, like the bros might get some. Like, my, my, some of my homies might want to wear this because I, mm -hmm. it's kind of stuff I keep though, like that I'd like. I'm a, I might play that again later on. You know what I'm saying? I might be old school player. Like when I want to put some new clothes on, I'm an OG talking to my grandkid. Like, y'all was saying, <laughs> that's how I really be looking at it. Like, what I'm going to get away for is it's, it's, it's me. It was mine. It's nothing like a collector's item if I had it. Right. So, so what's your fashion inspiration? Because I feel like you have such a dope fashion sense. Like I haven't seen nobody else that dress like you and you hang out with other people that also have a dope fashion sense, but y'all, it's not the same. So is there anyone that you kind of look up to maybe like from the past that you like, I really like his style and maybe you yeah, flip it? it was a lot of players that used to know how to dress back in the mm -hmm. day. Like, and I really just think I, it just wore off on me. Like mm -hmm. just in like, some stuff might look good to me. They might not look good to you. You know what I'm saying? Right, so it's right, like, right. it just might have been someone that I might have just seen. Maybe be like, let me just think about somebody just old, like who I know, like, um, like Cameron. I don't say Cameron. Right, Cam. I don't say this before. He from New York, but like I'm from Atlanta. But I know 
back then, like, but they was putting it on, like, mm, yeah, it on, you know what I'm saying? So it's just something that I like. Everybody might have not have thought that, but back then, that's what I was thinking. And then maybe like, if I if I can go back farther, Jane Brown. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Nice. He's a player. Right. When I get yeah. older, I feel like I'm gonna get start getting that Jane Brown drip. Watch out now. And he the <laughs> only dude who be having that. Yeah, he got that drip. And you know what goes with that? What's, what speaks? I'm glad you said player because on your song, on your album, you got a song on that nasty girl only on camera. And uh, my my question is twofold. <laughs> Name for me uh, three girls that you would say are nasty but still catch your eyes classy. And then two, can you tell me what defines a nasty girl? Help us understand that. Because, uh, you, you know, it's, it's lingo now. When you say nasty girl on camera, there's a lot in that one, bro. I'll play that one for my wife, so I need to, I need to hear what you want. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be careful when you talk about them nasty girls. You got to be careful, man. You got to really be careful. I don't kiss a player. I really don't uh, kiss a player. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, player, like, but, even if it's on camera, she wanted to be, she, you know what I'm saying? It might have been discreet, but it was yeah. like on some how we wanted to do it. So it's, mm -hmm. it's hard to really just, you know what I'm saying, put her name in the field like that. That they gotta be on me and some you player to player, I ain't gonna lie. You know what oh, I'm saying? Not, yet. not that, like you tell us who was nasty. I'm saying, but who has that style that you that can help people understand what that is? Like, oh, if a woman wanted to embody this, if she's listening to this record, who can she look to for inspiration that got that swag that's nasty, hey, but still? That, that, um, look him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Classic mm -hmm. nasty. That's classic that, nasty right there. Shit like that, like, she was on that sexy shit, you know what I'm saying? Back then, like, then you know, mm -hmm. like, all right, but then I get nasty too. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, what's it, Khalif? Uh, my neck, my back, them type, like, oh, oh Kaya. Kaya. Okay. Kaya. <laughs> Kaya. Right, yeah, 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 that's what I'm like, yeah, like, them Who type, got it like, now, though, Gunner? Who, who from right now? Who out here right now? Oh, who popping it right now? Oh. Um, Megan Thee Stallion. I knew you was gonna ah, say okay. her. Okay, oh, everybody's <laughs> yeah. girl. There we yeah. go. Ricky Vibes. When you down. Well, like in the same vein of what Billy was talking about, let's just say, like, right, you get a folder sent to you privately, Gunner, uh, via Google Drive or something like that. And they had three sex tapes in there. <laughs> what order are you watching these sex tapes? All right. It's a sex tape with Rihanna, but little babies in it. There's a sex tape with <laughs> Megan the Stallion, but it's overdubbed with a man's voice. And yeah. there's a sex tape with Lori Harvey, but Steve Harvey's telling jokes in the background. Right. What order are you watching these tapes? <laughs> Um, <laughs> Ruby and Lil Baby. <laughs> 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 and then Ruby, like, you know what I'm saying? You see how these folks handle their business. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it would be weird after you saw your homie, like, you know, doing something. You know what I mean? Like, that boy inspired. I, I ain't homophobic or none of that. So it's just like, what? <laughs> I, I had sex too. <laughs> he like, I have sex too. <laughs> you going to do it like how I would do it. You see what I'm saying? That's how I'm going to look at it. I ain't going to look at it no other way. But Gunny, you About must three be minutes having and 46 a... seconds in, man. You was like, you ain't doing your thing, playboy. <laughs> you must be having a lot of sex, I think, because you got uh, some, some women that be on Instagram that be kind of fighting over you so a couple different excuse me a lot of say six <laughs> a lot of say six <laughs> so are you claiming anybody right now because i know you got like about two instagram girls that's claiming you child so are you claiming anybody i do got somebody you know what i'm saying we all got somebody right is her name heather Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sips that water again. That boy. Okay, so let's make it a little more fun. I spoke to you at the Grammys and we did like a karaoke thing, right? And you sung for me the song from White Chick. <laughs> Do you remember? So what's your what would you say is your favorite song that nobody would would think that you would say is one of your favorite songs. That's not you, of course. Um, your guilty pleasure. You might listen to it alone in the car and be singing at the top of your lungs. Probably not, not like that, but uh, <laughs> what's that song? Uh, I can't think of it right now. 
Eh, yeah, but Phoebe, keep going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to. <laughs> oh, yeah, it had to be probably Sade. Mm, that's a good one. Some about a voice, man. Sweet, sweet as taboo, fire. Yeah. I want to hear you sing oh, it, but I know you're not going to do it. <laughs> it's only talking about my mom. Oh, really? Her. She was Sade, one of her favorite artists? Yeah, I see you be bringing your mama everywhere. Mama wanna. <laughs> <laughs> Does your mom have a favorite record on a new project? She ain't told me her favorite yet. One of my, oh, my brothers, my brother, they would call me, they were like, she like, his, him and his girlfriend, him and his, girl, her, her, his girlfriend said they, their favorite song was on Nasty Girl. <laughs> yeah. Fire. That's going, to, that's going to get a lot of people pregnant during the quarantine. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm trying to get my wife pregnant to that. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to get her tonight. Wow. Just because you, bro. you, man. Hey, motivate me. The phone might you. come out tonight, gun. I'm telling you right now. I might put it. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I buy that baby something. <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought of a potential TikTok challenge for the Nasty Girl video? Uh, uh no. Nah. Man, that, that's going to be over. I don't be hoping they do it, but you know what I'm saying? Just authentically. I, don't, I can't really come up with it. Off, you know what I'm saying? The TikTok would be natural. I saw one challenge that you reposted. I think it was actually today, and it was Suck It On Cam Challenge. You suck it on bands, little freak. Ooh, that, if I do. I, 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 I do that's how the Nancy Girl video started. So it's like, I mean, that's how the um the, the second on, the on camera video started, I meant. So it's like, he kind of just kind of trying to crank it up. So it's, can it's, we it's, say that that might end up being the TikTok? That, now that's a racy, risky one, but it seems like you could still get away with it. Just make sure it's safe. That's all I tell you. Sure <laughs> good answer. Yo, Gutter, you definitely a dude who's always upbeat, always seem to be in a good mood. Like, what is the last thing that truly upsets you? Like, the whole country right now is in a, like, really dark space, you know, not only just dealing with the COVID-19 situation, uh, this police brutality thing is kind of wild. Like, it seems like every couple of weeks there's a new video that, you know, puts people in a certain right. way. You know, what, what's been taking you off your square lately? Corona, man. People dying from Corona, bro. It's like, that's the worst thing that can happen. And we got to still at, like, it's okay, cause we still gotta live our life. But it's like, we we really ain't even in our normal days today right now. Like, we really living different. We really gotta wear a mask. You gotta think about that every day. Right. That's the only thing that just had me like trouble. Like, what? Is, why are we going through that? Like, that's the only thing I just still think about. Like, oh, but make sure my mama ain't going nowhere still. Like, don't right. think everything good. Cause you know, it, it, it having more to like elderly people. So it's just like, that's what we really been just, just own like that I can just really just think about. Now, Have you had to tell any do of your people? Regular, I would imagine your Corona mask is not like everybody else's, right? Yeah, I got different masks. Mm -hmm. They just they just make they just sending me masks now. Like I just got a bunch of masks. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had to tell any of your people? Because I've been seeing Atlanta has been outside lit at the parties at the clubs. Have you had to reach out to any of your people, especially like in Atlanta, like, yo, y'all need to kind of chill, go in the house? Yeah, I reached out yeah. to a couple of them, told them, bro, don't think it's just over with. That's why I really left. Like, that was another reason, like, man, LA, LA still locked down. Mm -hmm. And now y'all can just open up, just, 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 just making everybody just go out, like, it's good. It ain't really just good yet. Right. Mm -hmm. What do you it's miss scary. the most about being in the free world? Shows. I miss the clothes, bro. I miss the, like traveling. Like I really like traveling. Like I really like going to the other spots and just mingling and just, you know, what I'm saying, seeing different shit. But I, that's the only thing I really just would love to do still right now. Man, what's like the the next thing that's on the books? I mean, I know people planning things as far out as August. You know, we just gotta see how it plans out. When's the next potential time we could see gonna pop up somewhere? What, will you see me perform? Like, you know, some people are already planning. They're like booking shows ahead of, the, you know, ahead of time. You know, there's some, I, I know some festivals are still scheduled to go on in like August until they decide to cancel it or not. Like, what's the, the closest thing you could think of that's on the books that may actually happen? Um, You probably, you probably, the next time you'll see me perform is my virtual show that I'm doing with YouTube. I'm about to release that very, very soon. So that's going to be like, that's gonna be very, very live and it's gonna be experience. 
you also have your documentaries you're, you're releasing part one you put out already that was dope um when can we expect you to put out more part to your documentary and just seeing more gonna videos because that's really the documentary was just for the album so right. it wasn't you know what i'm saying it was just really for you it wasn't planned either like i didn't plan on doing it it's just when i went to jamaica we caught so much footage shit. we just made it a documentary so we could just show you how i made the album but like in my videos too i feel like that i just tapped in more you be it's showing more gonna like it's showing more one right. or more personality for me of how i am and being an artist so, right how hands-on are you with your videos do you like help with the treatments and stuff like that do you come with the ideas this last, this next video with me and the baby that I'm gonna put out, I actually directed directed this. Really? I really directed this, so I'm really hands on. I'm learning though as it go as I go, but I'm hands on. Do you like set up the shots and you do the editing too, or you just kind of just write the treatments and just you know frame them up? It's it be depending like this last this video that I did direct. I got the scenes. Like I got every location. I got like really like the basically the treatment too because I told them what I wanted them to do. So like I kind of really sculpted it out. I just didn't know like exactly how I wanted to put it. So that's where your, your camera, your camera crew and the co-director come in who I was doing it with, which is Spike Jordan um Hygie World. Yeah. So both all, all three of them just but both of them helped me do it. But I'm gonna be the really director on the whole video. Some. How about like the women in the video? Do you like tell them like this is since you do have such a great fashion sense? Do you say like, all right, this is what they have to wear. This is what I want them in. Yeah, that's dope. That's a necessity. You got to do a clothing line or something. Is that is that anywhere in the future or in the works? I know you got your merch and your yes, merch is dope. It, I'm working on it right now as we speak. Perfect. I got I got, I got a, a clothing brand. It's coming soon. It's called Giovanni. That's my oh. middle name. So it's oh just, really. Yeah, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be dope. Right. It's one of those dope things where like you can kind of slide it in on white people too, because sometimes right. you know like you, know, <laughs> you got to trick them into supporting you. You know what I mean? Like Gunna, I don't know about that, but yo Giovanni, it seemed like everybody could rock that. A hundred percent. Styling on them. What are you about to say, Billy? Yo, man. So little known Gunna fact from what the word on the street is, uh, but what DC Young Fly say, Gunna got roasted and run, Gunna funny as hell. Say you be firing people up on the slick, man. Say you be out here roasting, killing people, man. Well, say you <laughs> say you be saying some funny. Yeah. <laughs> say you will get on somebody. They say you be, somebody get on me. I'm <laughs> so if somebody got on you, I don't know if you had, if I was to go at you, what you what you got for me? I know you got one for me in the chamber. Cause he's on the A. He already looked. You gotta give me one. You gotta give me one. I'm gonna drill back at you. I'm pulling oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Set it off. If you don't get your Caribbean drug lord dressing that, whether you Haitian crip looking at him. Haitian crip. Man, get your OJ, OJ Mayo full on face happening. Side <laughs> burns ain't even connecting, bro. Come on, bro. Like, 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 boy, if you don't get your beanie, man, if you don't get your elephant man, oldest boy looking ass out of here, boy. If you don't uh, get your dad's legend, what up, boy? Goddamn, he constructed teeth mouth having that. <laughs> Come on, man. They, they said it, bro. They said he had it. See, now Got in here with all the time. smoke. He want all the smoke. Hell no. But hell on out of that boy. Your headline so far back is on another <laughs> nigga here. Hell no. Nah, <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> this me, boy. This me. This me right here. This me. This me. That's me. a me. wig, Gunner. I'll try to look. I'm going to just help you out. That's a wig that he got on. Oh, you on my side. Like, what the hell are you doing, man? Hell no. Nah. I'm on Gunner's side. I'm trying to get a free outfit or something. He got the Giovanni one of them, one of them bags laying around there. He <laughs> need one of them shirts, though. I'm I trying to get I a Birkin. I ain't about to be taking your side, Billy. You must be out your damn mind. No, I'm joking. Gunna out here clapping people, man. Yeah, Number yeah, one man. album, um, you know, unlimited hits on the way. Out of everything you've accomplished up to this point, what are you most proud of, Gunna? Uh, I'm proud of me, me and my accomplishments. And I'm proud of, like, the people around me, how they're growing. And we are growing, like, I feel like, we just, we, we, we leveling up, like, 
like every individual just around me because we just growing up. I just I'm just proud of that. That's good, man. That's fire. Yeah. That's dope. Well, yo, continue success on everything you got cooking up, my G. Um, you know, we gotta touch something off the album, man. Go ahead, set it off for the people, bro. Um, you need to listen to the whole album, Wanna, one through eighteen, no misses. Yeah, just just crank it up, Argentina, and all the way through. We're gonna end it off with fire. Let's get it. Hey, hi, right, man. One time, y'all. Number one stunner, number one album in the country. Woo! It's the Bad Man Gunner in the house. Yeah. Hey, and he roasted me. I owe you guys to get in your comments. If you the first celebrity roaster that we had on the show. Like nobody ever like really got at somebody, and man. He we killed yo. him. But he killed me with he killed me with that assistant principal mustache you got over there, boy. Hell no. Well then, right before I leave, oh yeah, you good. Yeah, yeah. Right on your page. I come right on your page, go to prison. <laughs> hey, bring your house, you know, man. Hey, boy, come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Big up, my Jake. Thank right, you. We, we are the morning hustle.